on Early Valley Road between Lansdowne and Taitapu, south of Christchurch City. The flames were moving so fast and growing so fast that one moment last night there was no fire at all, the next moment it was everywhere. I spoke to Stephanie Sisson early this afternoon, again before the helicopter went down. Stephanie was at home when their power went out. That's strange, she thought, and she picked up the phone and then... The neighbour came running up the drive and um, said, uh, I just noticed the power was out and I had the phone in my hand to ring my husband and thought, oh, there's no power. And he said, oh, you're ringing the, the fire brigade. And I said, what? And he said, the fire behind your property. And I stood outside and thought, oh, <laughs> that's really big. <laughs> So I um, had a bit of a panicked moment where we got lots of things together. And then we um, we just, um, uh, the, my, na- my, my neighbour was leaving, so I asked her to take my son. And she took him and then um, we went running back and tried to get the fire pump going so we could get some water around the property. So, um, yeah, so we were there till quite late last night and so eventually they said, um, you have to leave. My husband stayed and done some firefighting. And I think it was pretty good through the night, but um, this morning things have um, fanned up again. And um, he rang and said that he thought the property was probably going to go, but then the monsoon buckets, um, 10 helicopters turned up and dropped um, monsoon buckets on the on the boundary. And it seems like it's OK at the moment, so we'll just wait and see. So the monsoon buckets so far have done the trick? So far. <laughs> and it was quite interesting yesterday watching them come and... Uh, get very the helicopters get very low and drop the monsoon buckets into the neighbour's swimming pool to uh, try and take some water out. Um, but it, it's massive. It's a huge fire. So we're in Early Valley Road, and um, it looks like it's come straight over the beginning of the road and then over the top, and and it, it got really big as it was heading up towards Sign of the Bellbird at the Summit Road. The thing I'm struck by from the very beginning of your story is that one moment you had absolutely no idea there was a fire and then the next moment it was big and coming towards you. Yeah, it was actually quite frightening because it, it was it was really big um, to the point that it was like, well, we can't fight this. And in fact, the neighbour came and said, we can't, we can't fight it. But then by the time we thought, oh, we'll get the fire pump going and the neighbours rallied around. And actually, our neighbours have been incredible. They huh. all came over and and fought the fire on the, the the property to try and stop it getting to the house. So there was no warning whatsoever, and and nor was it a northwester last night? It was yeah, just it was, a, it was a very strong northwester when yeah. it started. Probably about six o'clock, I think it started, and you could just see the see the the flames very quickly coming over the top of the hill. Um, so it all happened really, really quickly. Um, but yeah, no warning at all. Terrifying. <laughs> Well, it's actually funny because we've been talking about um, the potential of fire because it's been so dry. Yes. And we've not had any rain for such a long time. So we've actually, last weekend, got the fire pump going and um, moved water tanks around. You did. Wait a sec. So the fire pump wasn't going until last weekend. Exactly right. (laughs) And And so you sorted out the pump and you sorted out the water. Yeah, and actually all the guys in the valley had a meeting to talk about where the water sources were, who was going to come and get the fire pump, how it was all going to... And they had a map of where all the water was um, and talked about what they would do. So that's quite... quite a, a week ago. <laughs> a week ago, last week. <laughs> and and I, I, thank God for that, or thank goodness for that, or whoever you want to thank, right? <laughs> yeah, I think, I think the potential was there because it's been so dry. Stephanie Sisson, uh, they reconnected the fire pump last week. Quite a remarkable story.